It is a pleasure for me to open up the seminar organized by um, the Eurom Observatory, and I'm happy to see how the university becomes a space for debate and um, a space so different um, groups of our society can make their voice heard. And that's a, a goal of the university, to listen to people. This is the third seminar we organize with the title Subaltern Memor Memories, which is focused on groups that have been marginalized uh, and put aside by more dominant discourses. This year, we focus on persons with disabilities because for too long, the voice of people with disability have been marginalized to the periphery of the collective memory. And with this international seminar, we want to contribute, even if it's in a humble way, to give voice to all these voices. In, at the University of Barcelona, we follow inclusion uh, processes that has led us to establish plans for the whole uh, university community. We provide counseling for people with a special needs. In, within the Inter-University Council, we are one of the universities that promote equal uh, opportunities uh, among um, students with disabilities and as well among teachers and staff um, administrative staff, because we want to have a fully inclusive university. We want to provide coherent answers within a legal framework that we can implement in the curriculum, in the um, giving diplomas. We want to promote also studies, and we have a master's on social inclusion and citizens' rights for people of people with disabilities, or the UB uh, chair that focus on persons with disabilities that uh, was uh, presented a week ago. We think that tackling the social uh, issues from a historical perspective is a recognition and redress exercise to think about how we have done things in the past or rather how we have not done things in the past with the will to improve today, to know the evolution of conflicts throughout history, know the causes and the consequences will allow us to reflect and um, work for a fairer society. We. Our contribution is humble, but we wanted to have presentation by experts and activists from social, uh, civil society. We want to talk to the citizens, have an open debate with the public and reflect on the past and the urgent need we have to change. Thank you very much for your participation. And now I'm going to give the floor to Mr. Xavier Lopez, Lopez, the director of the Foundation Solidaritat of the University of Barcelona. I'm going to keep it short. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Chancellor, for giving me the floor. The Foundation Solidaritat is the origin of the observatory, and for us, the work done by the observatory is very important, but we would like to insist on the fact that the work on subaltern memories is very particularly important and relevant for us because it refers to memories that have been systematically forgotten, but also because the collective, the groups they refer to are groups that have to be um, also always asking for their rights. These subaltern, subaltern memories 
are memories that sometimes are not officially recognized, others they are. But uh, when we talk about these collectives and particularly of these groups and particularly the people with uh, disabilities, I would say that this is particularly relevant because if you know this group uh, or if you're part of the group of disabled persons, you know that the fight uh, they have to, uh, their fight is a daily one and the progress is not enough and it's a slow progress. And uh, sometimes uh, the rights are conquered too late. I'm not going to talk about the killing, the Nazi killing programs, but the social constitution until up 2024 talk about uh, pe persons with disability as diminished uh, people, and this is terrible. This is, but this was a little bit the idea that our society had uh, when thinking about persons with disability, that they had lesser abilities or lesser capabilities. And, and the fight, as I was saying, is a permanent one, but it's a fight we, we have to fight, the struggle we have to fight. And subaltern memories, we have talked about LGBT uh, people and uh, the Roma collective. But in the case of uh, persons with disability, I think it's particularly relevant to talk about that. So we're very happy to organize this international seminar and we hope to be able to continue. Thank you very much for uh, being here. And I would like to encourage all of you to carry on working um, for the rights of this collective. It's, uh, as I was saying, an ongoing uh, struggle. And uh, we have to continue because we are lagging behind. So thank you very much for your participation. Now we're going to hear about the European coordinator. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. Uh, very briefly, I would like to thank all the participants in the seminar today, our audience, and I hope we will have time for an exchange of opinions and have a little bit of debate. Thanks to all presenters, those coming from far afield and uh, the local ones. Thanks to a friend Carbonell who has helped us a lot organizing the local aspect of the seminar. Thank you to Fernanda, uh, Pau, Andrea, the technical team, the interpreters. Thank you to everyone. And as the vice chancellor was saying, we are fully um, aware that our contribution today is a humble one. But uh, when working on collective uh, democratic memory, there are not so many institutions dealing with uh, subaltern memories uh, and we are not saying that because uh, we're better than others or to to lead the path no it we are saying that as a positive thing uh, what we want to say is that we need to make voices that have not heard or not been well represented make them visible and this is what we want to do at the university um, encourage dialogue give visibility, so I um, will be very happy to listen to all of your comments or remarks. Thank you very much.